Hello again, uh, Robert Mitchell here, Strategic Security Engineer for GitLab. I'm here with Usha. Hi everyone, uh, it's Usha Swami Nathan here and today for the, in this video we'll be covering and talking about multi-factor authentication. So here we are. Rob, up to you. Fantastic. So, um, so when we did the initial setup, um, you created a thing called Okta Verify. And if I sign in here, you'll see that Okta Verify is asking me for a push notification on my phone. So I'm just going to go through that process and verify in. Um, and approve that. And like magic, we're into Okta. So what we've done there is we've used our password and the second factor to authenticate. Okay. Um, what I wanted to focus on in this video was looking at the multi-factor settings. So if we go into our user okay. and we go into settings, um, there's a lot of things here you can tailor and customize. Now, so you can go and you can change the security image. Uh, you can change your password if you feel the need to change your password. Um, the bit I'm really interested in is this section here called extra verification. So as you saw, we set the Okta mobile, Okta Verify mobile app up. Um, but um, what if And what if I don't like to use the Okta Verify, Rob? What other options do I have? So we allow two other options. One is that you can use uh, Google Authenticator. So if you're used to the Google Authenticator app, um, which, or, or you want to use the one-time passwords in one password app, you can use those. The other thing that you can do is you can set up a U2F security key. Um, also, you know, most commonly used for the Yubi keys. So I'm just going to click on the setup here and show you how easy it is for you to set up a Yubi key. Perfect. So let me get rid of that window that's turned up there, which has just disappeared. There we go. So step one, make sure you have a security key. Um, obviously I do. So I'm actually just plugging the security key into my machine right now. I'm using a YubiKey. Um, for those of you that are at Contribute New Orleans, uh, you can use your gift YubiKey. Um, otherwise, you could order one off the um, YubiKey store uh, as part of the uh, handbook page on spending company money. So first thing to do after that, click on register. It says plug it in. Now on the YubiKey, there was a gold disc. When you put it in, make sure that the gold disc is facing up. Otherwise, it's actually really hard to press from underneath. So um, plug it in fa facing up. And then all you need to do is just tap it. And you'll see as I tap it, I've now successfully set up my Yumi key. And we're done. That was easy. That was incredibly easy. If you wanted to set up Google Authenticator, the process is pretty much the same. So again, it asks you what particular device you want to use. So for this example, I'll use the, um, the Authy app that's on, uh, on iPhone. So select an iPhone, click on next. It'll present you with a QR code. If okay. I, uh, and then you just need to bring up your app on your phone, add an account. Scan the QR code and point it at your screen. And then it'll challenge, it'll ask you if that's for an account name. Okay. Uh, once it's done that, if you click on next, it'll ask you just to enter a code so it can verify it. So I'm just going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're done. Voila, so we, there you go. Now we have a variety of multi-factor authentications that are set up within our account. Um, now to, to use these, if you wanted to use a different one, I'll just sign out and come back in. So Mr. Tanuki's coming back in. <laughs> and puts my password in. Click on sign in. So it's prompting me for Google Authenticator. Let's say I didn't want to use Google Authenticator. I wanted to use my YubiKey. 
there's this little okay. drop down here, drop down. which allows me to select an authentication factor. So let's use our security key, our UV key. Um, so it asks for that, asks you to insert your security key. So I'm inserting the security key. Uh, then you'll see the little, uh, it'll flash on the top, the green light, tap it, magic happens and we're in. Hmm. So this is an alternative to Okta Verify. For those of us like me who don't like to use their phone and the Okta Verify can probably use the UB key. Is my understanding that's, right? That's correct. Um, we actually recommend that you set up at least two of these factors um, because that means that if you're in a situation where one of them has a problem, you can use the other one to come back in and, uh, and reset it. So if you only have one of them set up and you have a problem, then you need to do MFA resets and get support involved. If you've got two of these set up, you can use one of them and then you can go and you can reset the other factor. Um, a question that has been asked is, can we actually set up multiple UB keys or multiple UTF keys? The answer to that, unfortunately, is no. So in that case, I would suggest that you, if you've got a situation where you don't want to use your phone for Okta Verify, that you use Google Authenticator and U2F and have them both set up. Okay. Makes Brilliant. Sense. That thank is, you very that much. Was really, yeah. Thank you, Rob. Thank you.